Welcome to the video presentation on how to use Animoto with PowerPoint slides. Animoto is a website that lets you easily create video slideshows from images and video and it is timed to music. It is a free tool that is easy to use. Before we get started, let me show you a quick example of what an Animoto presentation could look like. Pretty impressive, don't you think? So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is prepare your images for your video. Now you can use any images you'd like. I'm going to show you a way of how you can use PowerPoint slides. I like to use a mixture of both PowerPoint slides and images. You can even use videos in your Animoto um, video when you're creating it. So let's go ahead and open up PowerPoint, and I have mine open right here. And you can see I went ahead and created uh, the slides that you had just seen, actually. And so what we're going to do, I'm going to show you uh, to prepare these for Animoto. What you want to do is go up to the File button here, and you're going to save these as pictures. So you'll just go ahead and uh, click on Save as Pictures. You'll go ahead and give it a name, so I'm going to keep my name as Animoto. Um, the PowerPoint. I'm going to give, give it a number two here because I had already saved it under that one time. You can save it under whatever name you like and save it into a folder or a lot of times I'll just save it to the desktop there. And then the format here, you're going to want to just keep it with a JPEG there. And if you just go ahead and click save, that's going to go ahead and save it to the location I, I told it to. And you can see that you get a little information box here uh, telling you that, that it's saved under Animoto 2 and it's on my desktop there. So you can just go ahead and click OK. And let's go ahead and go to the desktop just to see what that uh, looks like. And you're going to see right here is that we do have the Animoto 2. That's what I saved it under. If we open that up, you'll see that we have each of the slides was saved as a JPEG. So now uh, when we tell Animoto to go look for uh, the images that we want, we can just come here and we can again add other images if we choose to also. Well let's go ahead and get started with doing our own Animoto video. The first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and sign up for a free account. And so you're going to want to go to the sign up button right up here and go ahead and click on that. And it's going to take you to a page that describes all their plans and the pricing, okay? And you're going to see under the light plan right here, it's a free account, and it, you have unlimited uh, videos that you can do. Uh, they do limit the length of the video to 30 seconds. I would really encourage you, if you're an educator, to go ahead and sign up for the education membership, which if you scroll down on this page, you'll find a link to it right here. If you click on that, it will uh, tell you about the education um, membership that you can have. It's a free one, but you do have to apply, and it can take up to a few days to uh, get that um, application through. And also, you'll need to, every six months, reapply for that. For right now, we're going to go ahead and just stick with the free version right here. Go ahead and just click Try Now. And I want you to go ahead and just fill out your email address, uh, password, uh, they're asking for your name, date of birth. So go ahead and just uh, fill that out. And then when you're done, you'll go ahead and just click sign up. And then you'll be all ready to go with Animoto. Well, are you ready to create your video? I'm going to show you just how easy this is. First of all, you want to log on to Animoto.com and go up and once you're logged on you're going to go ahead and click create video and that will take you to a style page so you're going to pick out a style that you would like to use okay there's a lot of different ones here just know that if it says pro style that you will not be able to use this unless you've registered for a pro account I'm just going to go ahead and pick this one uh, the Animoto style right there and we'll just go ahead and click create video 
So we have now gone ahead and you can see by the check mark here, we've already picked our style. Now we need to go and add pictures. So we'll go ahead and go find, we're gonna um, upload our pictures from our file that we saved earlier. You could actually add pictures from uh, Facebook here or Flickr and there's a, a variety of other ways to do this. But we're gonna go ahead and uh, go get our PowerPoint slides, which are right here. And so, and if you didn't pop up with the screen, go ahead and locate the folder of the images. Once we get to these images, you can click on them and add them separately, or you can do a shift click and that will highlight all of them and then say open. This will go ahead and import all your photos into this area. And this is our workspace area, so if we would like, we can go ahead and rearrange our photos in here. So let's say that I want to switch this one over here. I just click and drag. So very easy, click and drag. If you want to, you can you know highlight, you can see the blue highlight here, and you can go ahead and delete it if you'd like. All right, if you need to rotate it, you can duplicate it, and spotlight. And that's where, if you want the video to pause just for a second on that one image, and you can do it to several images. So let's say it's gonna spend just a little bit more time on those that are highlighted in yellow now because I've added the spotlight. So we're done with our images. We've uh, organized them the way we want. And now it's time to go ahead and choose music. So we'll just click here. And as you can tell, you can go ahead and use your own music if you like, but they provide quite a bit of music. And here are the different categories. I'm going to go ahead and just pick out this indie rock right here. And I'm going to scroll down. I think there's an instrumental, free to fly. So we'll just go ahead and pick that and click add song. Now, according to how many images you have will be the length of the song. The add text right here, if I wanted to add a, another slide in there, and maybe I'm just gonna say welcome to Animoto right here. Make sure your spelling is correct. And we can go ahead and just save that. That will go ahead and put a slide right here. And it will be a black slide with white lettering on it. So that's what the add text is used for. Once we're ready with this, we're just gonna go ahead and click Produce Video. Now, this is a fairly short video. We don't really have that many photos. Um, it can take up to you know, several minutes. It really depends on how busy they are. Uh, but you don't have to worry about it. They will email you when the video is ready. As you can see, our video is now done. So let's go ahead and see what Animoto came up with. So as you can see, it's a very a lively type of video that they come up with. Um, and there's just so many different ways that, are, you know, depending on the style that you chose and the music that you chose. Let's say that you really want to go ahead and share this. You can see we have some quick links right up here to add it to Facebook. You can add it to Twitter there or YouTube or you can email it. You can also find those same links really down in the share menu down here and it gives you a few other options down here also. You can go ahead and embed this video or you can download it to your computer. Uh, the tools button right here is if you're not really satisfied with this video, if you click on the remix button, it will go ahead and come up with a very different video for you. Okay, so you can do that as many times as you like or you can just delete this video right from this menu too. Anyhow, that concludes our presentation on Animoto. I hope you really are excited about using this. They have wonderful uh, help videos on this site. Please go there and explore. It really does have a lot to offer.